you know, where people are looking for items that mean something to them. Their watch, a piece of jewellery, a beautiful handmade dining table. Handcrafted goods have a meaning to the person who's purchased it. I hate to see that final end game where everything is produced in a factory to the lowest quality that they can get away with at the lowest price and without any art, without any craftsmanship, without any imperfections. My name's Adam Parker. Uh, I'm a knife maker and I live in Ballarat. I think a lot of young kids have something that sparks their interest right from a very early stage. I made little wooden knives when I was a kid, like carved them with my pocket knife. Believe it or not, country kids used to have knives at six or seven years of age. And we used to use them for appropriate things and sometimes inappropriate things. I was also into hunting, being a farm boy, making uh, the tools of the trade. After a little while, I got enough confidence to sell a few of them. And with the money that I made, I bought some new equipment and, uh, and went on from there. It's a little different when I have a custom order compared to when I just want to make a knife. When I want to make a knife myself, um, I, I look at the task I want to use the knife for. Uh, and I, from that, I can, I can use personal experiences to, uh, to come up with a design. I kind of fell into classes. I had people approaching me, asking me to teach them how to do what I do. All sorts of people from all walks of life. I've had kids that are 11 and 12 year old. I've had young ladies. I've had old men. I've had guys in wheelchairs. I've had work experience kids. It's the whole gamut of society who want to work with their hands and create things and just have a fascination. It's therapeutic. It's great for the mind. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's quite healing in a way. And at the end of it, you come out with a product that you can be proud of, that other people appreciate. It's just a completely positive thing. Ben shuey has been a fantastic supporter of the handcrafted knife world and the owners of Attica as well. Most of the things within their restaurant are handmade from the plates to the furniture and everything. So I produced 16 knives for them, which the customers at Attica get to use. Also a couple of chef's knives that he has purchased for his apprentices and for himself. The hardest thing of all is communicating to people how to get one of my knives and how it works. It, you don't look me up on a website, I don't have a website. You can't look at stock that I have on hand and surf the net and find it. And you can't order stuff online. It just doesn't work like that. It's a one-off handmade piece that takes time to produce. It's not instant gratification. It's a journey for the customer. 